Oh, are you having fun? <laughs> yes. I'm still, so wit- I'm still winded <laughs> from that attempt at dancing. Oh, oh you know gosh. what? That was humiliating. No. But you know what? Chris has been giving me so much about this jacket. Well, all right, Which, look. By the way, I hope you guys like the jackets. I picked them out. Chris Franklin doesn't really like it, but no. I like it. No, you just sent me a picture, and I didn't know what to make of it. But in person, they're great. And this will work for Saint season. And I'm just trying to feel better about feel the situation. Feel better about my situation. <laughs> yeah. But no, we've gotten a lot of compliments on our yes, matching jackets. I didn't yes, know. I don't know how they would look, but they're they're great. fantastic. I think, I think, think they're great. Fantastic. They do. And they we're do. We're all spiffy and good We're together. very spiffy out here, and it's we're having a lot of fun on the riverfront for Lundy Gras. Yeah. And if anyone is familiar with our newscasts and in WWL in general, right. You tend to talk a lot about your alma mater. Warren Easton. Oh, is that where it was? Okay. I was having. Oh, come on. Come on. Oh. Look, Warren Easton is my alma mater. That is yes. actually something that I have in common with this year's Zulu King, Nick Spears. And we met up to talk at our alma mater before his big day. These hallways, I mean, we used to run up and down these hallways. and We are inside of the Warren Easton <laughs> right now, uh, which is our alma mater. You, yeah. you attended here. You attended Xavier Prep. Okay. I mean, can you remember? <laughs> just take us back inside of these halls. Like, does this bring back any memories? This or? is like punishment. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you're getting really, really close to the day. Mm-hmm. You know, what has this process been like for both of you? It's been a whirlwind. It's been it's a fast pace. Right. It's moving a lot faster than what I initially <laughs> imagined that it would. I call this like hell week. <laughs> you know, it's okay. just gonna stress you and test you and push you beyond what you think you could do. Okay. <laughs> it's just okay. <laughs> But in a good way. Yeah, it's intense. Yeah, First way. of all, you're part of a legacy. Um, and it's a sense of celebrity that comes along with it, too. It's it bigger is. than you. Yeah. It is. It's, it's bigger than you. Yeah. And that's mm-hmm. what it goes back to. So yeah. it's a huge responsibility. And, uh, and we're very honored for it. And growing up in New Orleans and the fabric in which Zulu plays into the culture and the community, uh, being over 100 years old as an organization, a black organization, um, that is a huge, tremendous responsibility because the progress and you want to make sure that you entrust in the progress and moving it forward so that, you know, the people that have came before you, they can be proud of you. The Zulu Parade was by far my favorite. Um, And I always wanted to know who these guys are. Look at the queen, she looks amazing. How do I get involved? I mean, it's just something of admiration for all young black men and women here. And that's why it's important you know, the community work we do now after King's Day is where we get into co- to community and we tell that story. As a young man, I said I wanted to, to be a part of that because it just had made such an impression upon me. I believe a lot of that goes back to when Zulu was black Mardi Gras for us. It is what we had, you know, through segregation and through civil rights. Uh, Zulu was a place where we went to hold Mardi Gras because we were not allowed to parade on Canal Street. Internally, we we're a brotherhood, so it is like a fraternity. Uh, very, it's like the Baptist church. Everyone looks after each other. Um, we, we pretty much believe in that, you know, we have to make sure each other is together. Zulu is just not a Mardi Gras organization. It is a, uh, a social and pleasure club where we operate 365 days a year. So in that space of community, whether it's the Toys for Tots, whether it's the holiday baskets or the night out against crime, uh, we're seeming it, we're invested in this community, so. And right. you're leaving a lasting impact as well. That's also something I think that you guys are doing a great job at for young black men, young men in general. Well, obviously, we're expecting a coconut. Got to. What do you got? That's that's the one, what do you got there? <laughs> so this is just one, you know, out of many we have, you know, I think we got right at a thousand. Okay. Mm-hmm. So, uh, you know, it's two floats, you know, so we got to make sure we have coverage. Right. So we got enough coconuts, these golden nuggets right here, the Jew, the, what everyone comes to get. The coconut, when I came to the organization in 98, was getting them from Circle Food Store, where we would shave them with the sander, and, mm. you know, you have to train them, and then you paint them. It was a process. So now they come painted already. Right. <laughs> like, so you were a part of this since 98? Since 98. Okay, so you've been a member that long. And so, yes, what's yes. the changes you've seen oh with the organization gosh. as it we've grown. transitioned? We've grown from 375 uh, to over 800. And wow. it's just the, the notoriety. I think, you know, the, the testament of the work in the community is that we've got more popular. More young people want to be a part of this. Zulu will write its history. 
on, on, what, on what it is that it needs at that time. Uh, every leader uh, brings to the table their experience. Uh, every leader brings to the table their vision. In my reign, all I want to do is just make the membership proud that they elected me mm -hmm. and to represent this city in, in that fashion as well. So, you know, I take it very seriously and I'm just honored to be in a position and to continue to just raise the bar. All right, Zulu King experience, he is absolutely amazing. We actually just saw them right by our Yes, close. yes, the Coast Guard the cutter just went past with the Zulu court. We'll be seeing them shortly, All but right. uh, for now, uh, we're going to toss things over to a break, but we will continue with our live coverage of Lundegras 2023.